There are a few ways to open a trade ticket from the web trading platform. The first is to click on the buy or sell in the trade panel at the top of the chart. The trade panel can be dragged to other areas of the chart screen. If you want to buy Euro USD, clicking on the buy in the trade panel immediately brings up the order ticket with a buy order for Euro USD. Another way to bring the trade ticket is to click on the ask box, the right hand price under the currency pair for any of the listed currency pairs in the left column. But with this option, you must be sure that you are clicking on the correct currency pair. You can be looking at the chart of the Euro USD, but if you click on the box for the ask of the AUD USD, the trade ticket will be for the AUD USD. You can also right click over the chart and then hover over the trading tab at the top. Clicking on the buy, sell or create new orders tabs will bring up the trade ticket. But this involves a few more steps than clicking on the trade panel or the bid slash ask in the rates. When the new order ticket comes up, you have some choices to make. We can work our way down the ticket to understand these choices. First, if you happen to click the buy when you wanted to sell, you can switch that here. The order defaults to a market order, meaning that the trade will be executed at the market price. You can also choose a limit or a stop order. More on these later. You then need to choose your order size, which should be based on your risk management and trading plan that we can help you create. You can also take a trade profit target if this is part of your trading plan. You enter your stop loss in price or pips. Many traders find this easiest in pips. It is highly recommended that you use a stop loss order for every trade. You could also use a trailing stop, which is a stop order that follows your trade as it makes money. Another advanced aspect of the trade ticket is the upper bound, which you can use with market orders in volatile markets. If you set the upper bound as 10 pips, then your trade will only be executed if the market is still within 10 pips of the price when you place the trade. When you put in the units, the trade ticket will tell you the trade value as well as what one pip will be in terms of profit or loss. When the trade ticket is filled out the way you want it, you submit the order. Here we have a buy order for Euro USD at the market price. We have used 100,000 as the units. The ticket automatically calculates the trade value at $113,598 and the value of each pip is $10. US We put in a stop loss in pips and it tells us that our loss will be $200 US if your stop is triggered at the stop price. It is possible that the loss could be bigger than that in a very volatile market. Once the trade has been submitted and gone through, it will show up on your chart. The position on the chart will tell you the size of the trade as well as the current profit or loss of the position. This trade, for illustration, does not have a stop loss with it as it should. The best and easiest way to close out a position is to click the X that is next to the trade size on the box. A confirmation message will come up and you can then confirm that you want to close the position. Here is an example of a position in dollar CAD. You can see that the position is 100,000. There is currently a loss of $22.44. You will always start with a paper loss as is true in any asset, as you have to buy for the ask price and would have to sell for the bid price. You can also see that there is a stop loss here at 1.33192. You can manually trail the stop loss by simply dragging it to a different price. You can modify other open orders like limit orders by dragging them to a different price level. You can also close out these other types of orders, like stop loss orders similar to the ones above, though again, you should always have a stop loss, as there is little reason to cancel it since you could simply drag it to a different position. You could, however, close the stop loss by clicking the X on the position. Once you have placed a few trades, you will become more proficient with the process of opening and closing positions. You can also customize your trade tickets to pre-populate with the parameters that you like to use. We look at that in the customization video.